Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kara, and today the Lawn Fawn Mice are helping to deliver a Valentine gift card. So we're using Crazy Antics and the Conversation Hearts stencils. And there are two stencils, and they work together or separately. And this is the gift card heart envelope. And it comes with the little pieces there. I love that little scallop rectangle and the for you the arrow and hearts that you can cut into the envelope or cut separately and put on the envelope i want to stencil my conversation hearts so that they are all going one way as the card is closed so i make made this template and i'm putting arrows to the top so that when i open it up i can tell where the hearts should go so these three areas are up and the other two are down. So I'll mask off the areas that I don't want to stencil right away. And I'm using this uh, sticky note. It's a post-it note that's fully sticky on the back. And even though I'm stenciling each heart individually, this will just uh, remind me not to get too enthusiastic and stencil where I don't want to. So I'm actually centering this up because I'm going to move my stencil both to the left and right. And I'm kind of speeding this part up because I'm taking a finger dauber and just deciding where to put. Randomly, I'm putting different colors. So I have squeezed lemonade and twisted citron. These are all regular distress inks. And then sponge sugar. I chose colors that I have seen as uh, conversation hearts in the package. Kind of that light color, chalky <laughs> color that they come in. And um, so just trying to even them out across the, the pattern that I'm making. This one is milled lavender. Now I'm not going to do the two hearts in the center because those will be covered up with my little green panel that I showed you and uh, the mice will sit on there. So just moving my sticky note over and coloring in now with the tattered rose. Now that tattered rose, that orange conversation heart, I think is my favorite. I don't know if they really have flavors, but in my mind, that orange one has the best flavor. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I'm not a huge Conversation Heart uh, fan, taste-wise. I think they're really fun, though. They they certainly signify Valentine's Day here uh, where I live. Uh, as kids, we always had these, and, uh, you know, I can, now that my tastes have changed, I'm, I think I would go for the chocolate a little more, so... <laughs> but they're still, I think they're just so fun and colorful. And I love the little uh, messages on them. I mean, they're those little abbreviations uh, in that bright pink color. And uh, I think they were ahead of their time because that was before all those texting abbreviations. <laughs> anyway, almost done here with this side. And I'm going to flip it over and cover up the center. And now I'm going to stencil on the other two flaps. So again, when it's closed, they will all be going the same direction. So how about you? Do you enjoy the taste of conversation hearts? To me, they're kind of in the same category as candy corn. I mean, it's fun. It kind of shows the the sense of the season, but um, if there's chocolate available, I, I'm going to go for that first. <laughs> All right, well, I inked up the top flap the very same way, and now it's time to put on those little abbreviations, and I am going to use picked raspberry for this, and I was concerned that it might not do well with some of the colors that I chose for the hearts, but it is a much brighter color, especially when I uh, really get into those letters and just, uh, I'm just tapping and dabbing uh, so that the 
the dark pink or the hot pink really shows up and it, it doesn't really blend with the colors underneath because those are much lighter. Now, do you have a favorite abbreviation or saying on these hearts? Uh, I, I think I like that I heart you one the best. Of course, I also like hey <laughs> because it's so ambiguous. Hey. <laughs> Maybe that's the one I'll send to my husband this year. Hey. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to go find all the little extra hearts that are kind of off on their own and pick pick one of the sayings to put inside. I, I really just enjoy this stencil set with the regular hearts and then these letters here because uh, the letters, uh, they really show up well and it's not hard to get them stenciled. And then also those hearts, you can just use those on their own as well. So a really fun set. Now here's a neat discovery I found. If you have the Say What gift tags, uh, that die set, there's a little heart in there and it is the same size as those conversation hearts. So it cuts them out perfectly. And so uh, if you've got that die set, you've got all those little conversation hearts and you can use them on their own. Just scatter them around. I finished stenciling all the letters and now it's time to fold this and put it together. It's a really simple one to fold. So just finding the score marks on there and pressing them down and I'm reinforcing them with my bone folder. It's the sweetest little gift card holder and it can go for other times other than Valentine's as well, but because uh, hearts are pretty, pretty universal in the gift giving category. All right, now that I have it all folded, I'm going to put those two hearts together. They just connect with their, the little slots and I'm taping on that scalloped rectangle and that is in shimmer cardstock from the spring collection. That rectangle could also go on the inside of the gift card holder, but for my design today, it'll be on the outside. Now this is also shimmer cardstock from the spring pack and those hearts are part of the gift card heart envelope die set. I'm adhering them to each flap on the heart. And I also want to add the arrow in the center. So I got out my glue tube and I'm just adhering it to the one side. That way those flaps can still open and close. And that arrow is cut out of raspberry cardstock, which goes great with that picked raspberry ink. So there it is all set and now it's time to stamp out our mice from Crazy Antics and I'm using jet black ink because it's Copic friendly and I'm using Copics today. This is a warm gray for this little guy. Now you can see I already colored the mouse below but I colored them fairly the same so I'm just going to show this one mouse and found my shadows and blending them up now into the rest of the body with the W1 and then the W00. So these guys are going to be pretty light, but I also wanted them to be kind of a brown gray, kind of have a little uh, two-tone color to them. So first I decided I could go darker with my shadows. So that's a W5. And then I will blend that all up into the body again with the W, so the W3, and then the W1 and double zero. So it's a tiny little space. So uh, there's not a lot of blending from one color to the next, but this way he's got that real dark W5 all the way to the zero zero. All right, I'm keeping their bellies white too. I thought they would be cute with white bellies. And here is that E31, kind of to give that brown tone to the to the warm gray. So I've got that just touching into those shadows and pulling that into the body with the E30. And that kind of gives him that gray brown look, giving his ears a little pink and also his cheeks. 
and his little nose. All right, this was the R22 getting a little darker in there and tapping it on the nose. And now I'll take the coordinating dies and cut those out. And I like how they are sitting opposite each other because they are going to hold the for you. They're going to sit right on top of that scalloped rectangle, but I want them to hold on to the ends of the for you. So I'm clipping out their little arms, just freeing them up from the body. And now that little stem can fit right into his paws. And I'll position him the way I want him so that he's kind of sitting up straight <laughs> there. All right, now for this little guy, I'm going to start with a knife to create a little slit in his paw, uh, around his paw, because then I can slip my scissors into that slit and then cut around. I, I just seem to have a little more control over the scissors than I do the a knife. So cut that out and it's freed up and now he can grab hold of the for you as well. So let our little uh, left hand mouse get a hold of it and they're together. And now I'm going to use my glue tube and glue the mice and the, the words for you down. So just some little dots of glue all over and adhere that down. Now, there are many different characters from the Lawn Fawn family that could hold on to this for you. I was thinking maybe Mama Bear from Den Sweet Den would be good too. She could, it could be part of the yarn coming off as she's knitting. So <laughs> she's knitting. Uh, her little scarf from the For You. All right, well, these are the little hearts also from the gift card heart envelope. I cut them from the Shimmer cardstock that's the from the Spring Pack and also from some Raspberry cardstock. And I'm arranging them just to see what I like on there. Kind of decide that, picking them up and putting a little dot of glue down. And then I've got just a little accent of hearts around the For You, and it brings the color from the pink shimmer heart on the other side over to the side of the envelope. All right, a little bit of glitter. So because there's shimmer in those hearts, I wanted a little shimmer on my For You. And so using that glitter pen from Lawn Fawn to to get that all shimmery as well. Now, as I was playing with the envelope, I felt like that arrow was kind of getting in the way of opening and closing. So I decided that I would just glue it down on the other side and then I'll take my scissors and just snip in between. So half of the arrow is on one half of the heart and the other half of the arrow is on the other half of the heart. And that seemed a lot easier for uh, the recipient to, to manage. All right, so here it is closing up smoothly now. And there's the back side and here's the front side. I hope you enjoyed the video today and it inspired you to get a little inky stenciling and create a gift card heart envelope of your own. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.